Hello everyone. This week I am featuring the ESP32 web controlled robot car, a project that were prepared for both IoT and robotics enthusiasts. With this build, you can drive the car directly from your web browser. No special app required. You can control it from your mobile phone or PC via Wi-Fi. Just turn on your Wi-Fi, connect the ESP32 car network and enter the password 128. Then open a web browser and type 192.168.4.1 you will see the control buttons appear on the screen All the parts required to build this project can be found in the purchase links provided in the description. To see how to assemble the Povich chassis kit, click the card above. For this project, I am using an ESP32 Room 38 fin board. To make firing easier, I am also using an ESP32 expansion board. This expansion board is optional, but if you have it, the project becomes much easier to build. As shown in the video, attach the ESP32 with the expansion board, the motor driver and the battery holder to the chassis. A full detailed blog post about this project is available on robottelke.co. The link is provided in the description. From there, you can also download the record circuit diagram and Arduino ESP32 code. Follow the wiring exactly as shown in the circuit diagram. When connecting the motor wires, do it the same way as in the four wheel chassis assembly video. For correct operation, connect the motor wires to the motor drive in the arrangement. If the motor rotate in the wrong direction, simply tap the two wires on the side. This will reverse the motor's rotation direction. Download the Arduino code from the website. It comes as a zip file. Open it in the Arduino IDE. This code uses as HTML interface with JavaScript. The reason for using JavaScript is that with HTML alone, it is not possible to create proper press and hold control buttons. If you don't already have the ESP32 board manager installed, make sure to install it. I will share a full guide on this in the blog post on my website and all the required link are in the description below. Next, connect your ESP32 board to the PC using a USB cable. 
in the Arduino IDE, select ESP32 dev module as the board and choose the correct port. Then upload the code. During compilation, if the board doesn't automatically connect, press and hold the boot button until the upload begins. Once uploaded, you can control the car from your mobile phone or PC via Wi-Fi. Just turn on Wi-Fi, connect to the ESP32 car network and enter the password 1 to 8. Then open a web browser and type 192.168.1. 4.1 You will see the control buttons appear on the screen allowing you to drive the ESP32 car which is I believe this project will help you gain valuable knowledge in both robotics and IoT while having fun controlling your ESP32 car. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share it with others and subscribe to the channel. Until we meet again with another exciting robotics project, wish you all the best.